All right, in today's video, we got a 2018 F250 Lariat 6.7 power diesel or power stroke. Um, it's a pretty cool truck. I like it. Love it. It's nice. Pretty clean. Um, basically, one of our rotors, metal on metal, um, completely done. So I don't know how this side is, but the other side was done. It was completely shot. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, basically simple process. This is not the dually. Obviously we could see that in the rear. Um, so for you dually guys, you are going to have some front extra hub steps. It's really not that hard. It really is not. It's just, I have a couple Chevy videos on how to do it. Um, you can go buy that and base it off that just to get an idea. If I did have one of these, if any of you guys are located in Oceanside area, be willing to make a video on one of those. Um, so let me know. Um, very simple step. Um, we're going to need a 18 or a 16 millimeter. I believe it was a 21 flathead screwdriver torque wrench. You want to torque these ones to specs, um, some grease and some blue log tight. And that's really pretty much it. And obviously a Jack, um, something a little bit over a three ton. Um, if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And we're going to go ahead and start this video right after that intro. <laughs> So, um, obviously I got the emergency brakes. They work. I got a couple wheel chucks in the back, depending, um, we're a little bit decline. So I put the wheel chucks on the rear of the tires. Now you can either put it on the back or the front since I'm, you know, common sense, the car would roll back. Um, uh, but for you guys just, you know, keep it safe, whatever, just put it on both sides. Um, get a wheel chuck, if not two by fours or some four by four, something you can put in the wheel um all right so right here coming up under um so for this side i did it one at a time i wish i could have done both but just don't want to get too sketchy um right here i lifted up from the differential and i was able just to get the driver's side wheel so now coming for the passenger side we're gonna lift it up at the tube um i could lift it right there but i just don't want to put too much weight on that so we're going to lift it up from the tube side so right here and then we can put our jack stand too right here on the on the actual tube itself just to prevent it from um if, if it collapsed on us but other than that um let me go ahead and jack that up and then yeah just so you see i want to make sure we're clarifying it do not jack it up from this one make sure you jack it up from the actual tube itself. I just wanna make sure we're clear on that. So we're gonna go ahead and set our jack stand right there, right over here, right next to it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take off the lug nuts. For you guys that don't have an impact gun, I would recommend to slightly loosen them and then lift up the vehicle and then go ahead and do that um, and so forth. And then you can just loosen up all the bolts, but do not take them all the way off while, they're, um, while the, the wheel is on the floor. Um, now, obviously, I don't know the wheel stud size or the lug nut. Um, mine are 19 millimeters. Yours might be like a 21, 22. Um, that's what I assume, but yeah. And then for just the wheel, we'll just rock it back and forth. We'll just let it slide right off on off. So here's our brake pad. We got a little meat right here, but you can peek in this inner hole. And I mean, we're like, we're there. So, I mean, this one's almost there. The rotor's not metal on metal, but. All right, so right here, we have one 16 and another 16 right here. That's the caliper bolt itself. And then this is our caliper bracket. That is a 21 millimeter. So 21 right here, and then 21 right down below. Um, those are gonna be on there pretty tight. The top ones aren't if you need to for the um, the caliper bracket you can hold it with some pliers or you can get like an adjustable wrench if you can squeeze it in there while it's spinning around that's if you have that issue but all right so we're going to go ahead and take those bad boys off all right now that we got those bolts off what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a flathead and i'm going to dig in where the little rotor you see where these little teeth are? I'm gonna dig inside there and I'm just gonna pull back. And what I'm doing is I'm spreading, I'm, I'm actually opening up the caliper 
I'm, I'm, I'm closing the, the, the pistons. So this will just make it more easier to, to pull out. So right here, this is our wheel speed sensor cable. We need to go ahead and separate that. So I'm just gonna pull down this guy and then I'll show you real quick right now. I'm just gonna just tuck in right there my caliper. So this is for that side. This is how I'm, I'm letting it sit. For the driver's side, I let it sat right inside here um, just to hang out. Um, if you want to get something to hold it, then, I mean, yeah, you can do that. Just keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't fall. And then let's check out these. And I mean, man, like, look how close we are. Look at like the, at least we won on my deal. But yeah, you can see, I mean, we're like almost there. I mean, for especially for this side, for the other side was like toast. All right, so for the next setup, um, we're gonna go ahead and take off our caliper bracket bolts. Uh, sorry, I didn't know if I was recording or not. Penny stopped the video, photographer. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it like this. Uh, if you hit it flat, the baby can save the rotor, but again, spray some WD-40. Like I said, I'm just, I don't care about the rotor. All right, so right there, we got it. So I mean, yeah, I mean, you could hit it like that. If you hit it flat, it would be fine. So this rotor's actually pretty thick. All right, try to move this out the way. Now this already has like grease right here. I don't know, that's from factory. It was on the other side. Um, now if you have any rust, I think that's just to prevent the whole rust. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just kind of smearing it around. Um, it looks like anti-seize in my opinion. Yeah, it looks like anti-seize. Um, so make sure there's no rust. If there is rust, you really need to clean this up. You have to clean the surface up. If not, you're gonna go ahead and get warpage and then along with right here too. Now, if you don't have any grease, you need to go ahead and put grease. Now, the anti-seize will help keep the water out. Hence is why I'm kind of smearing out the edges. Um, and so forth. It really, it's really clean. So I just could care less about that. But you need to get that cleaned up, and so forth. Um, but yeah. All right. Cool. So now we are ready to reverse the order. Extra grease. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our rotor now. I'm just doing this right now. I would recommend to do this off the vehicle if you can now um what i would recommend to do we're gonna spray our rotor or i'm gonna spray a little rag and then we're just gonna wipe down our rotor now we're gonna do it both front and back sides so i'm just gonna put the rag right here and then spin it just like that now this is just to wipe down any grease for some of you guys that do have grease. This one barely had anything on it. Just some dirt. Um, so now we are ready to put on our caliper. So we're going to go ahead and switch over our hardware kit. Now keep in mind you have outer. Let me get that. So we have these little outer tabs and then look in the inside, there's nothing in there. So if you have these facing towards the inside, um, then you're gonna have an issue. So those are gonna be rubbing against the rotor. I'll go ahead and show that right now. All right, so right here, again, the smooth side needs to be um, going towards the inner side. Now, if it has like this little piece right there, that is wrong, bad. That is no, no. So you see that? We need that. So we do that. And then same thing for the other side. You know, we want the inner side just like that. All right. So we're going to do that for the other one. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and lube up our guide pins. So you're just gonna grab the boot and then spin the guide pins out. You might need to 
spin them right off. No. So we're gonna go ahead and grease this right up. And we're just gonna put them back in. Now I know I didn't clean up the guide pins because I mean, they're still good. Yeah. Right there, so that's pretty much it. We'll put a good decent coat. Now, if you push this down and it, and it shoots up all the way, which it shouldn't, you're just gonna pinch the, the boot just to release whatever little air. Just hold it down and just kind of just, you know, pinch the boot like you're gonna pop a pimple. All right, so let's go ahead and um, start reversing the order over here. All right, so before we put in our our um, studs for our caliper bracket, we need to get some blue Loctite. So make sure you've been shaking this for a little while. Shake it like your life depended on it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. If you need to, you can use a wire brush to clean that, but this is pretty clean. Um, I'm gonna do pretty much one at a time. And we're just gonna thread these in. So just like that, you're just gonna basically follow the same color. And then that's pretty much it for that. And then we're ready to go ahead and install them in. I like to start off with the top and then, cause it's a lot more easier. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bolt these down. I'm gonna torque them down to 203 foot pounds. I got it to about 211, but that's pretty ideal. All right, so here's our brake pads. There is an outer and then there is an inner. So the one with the slotted piece right here, that's the inner side. So as you can see, it says inner. Um, on the pad and then outer so each brand has their own thing um, on setup some might say it so let's go ahead and grease these up there's only um, basically con so basically four contact sides we need to do or it's like two if you want to be all technical so one on on opposite ends on the pads so we're just gonna go ahead and lube right here now you're not gonna lube the whole back you're just only gonna lube up to right there at the edge and then make sure you get the corners in. And then same thing right here, we'll get all that. Now this will help prevent squeakiness. So make sure you don't get it on the pad, you wanna get it on the metal. And then this is the side. So you see how it curves like this? So this curved spot, we're not gonna put the, the grease on. It's This is the one that where it's gonna be hitting against that. That's where we want the grease, so. You're just gonna pretty much grease it up to right there and so forth. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and slap in our pads. Pretty much nothing fancy. Should just slide right in. If they don't go in, um, flatten your rotor. Just like that. All right, so we got that in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put in this brake pad and we're gonna open up the caliper. Let me see if I can get this shown pretty well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and now I, the, the pads that I'm using is a butterfly pad spreader. Oh, back up, back up, back up. And so I'm just using the pad just to help out with a little bit extra cushion and stuff and so forth. Now if you don't have this tool and if you have the other one where you it just only goes in one slot, now make sure you put down the pad 
and then you 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 press against that and you're just gonna evenly wear um evenly open it up so we're gonna go ahead and put this caliper in and then we're just gonna seat it right up in there All right, so we're gonna tor um, torque these caliper um, bolts right here. So these ones to 55 foot pounds. All right, so don't forget to put on our ABS sensor and we are all set and done with that. So now we're gonna go ahead and slap on our wheel All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lower down the vehicle and then we're gonna go ahead and torque these bolts. All right, so basically we're gonna go ahead and tighten up these bolts. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's how I'm gonna tighten them. And then we are gonna tighten those to 165 foot pounds. All right, so we're gonna come up in here. The key's in here, right? Yep, it's in here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start the truck. And then we're gonna go ahead and pump up the brake. All right, so it gets hard. And we are all said and done. But um, pretty much that's it. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. Um, whatever and then hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future and thanks for watching